Welcome back to my channel. I am that guy Bry, and today we are going to do a movie review Train to Bazaar, which is a Korean movie released in 2016. It's on Netflix right now, and it is by far one of the best zombie movies I have ever seen. Let us discuss Train to Bazaar. Train to Bazaar? Train to Bazaar. Train <laughs> So let's get started. So I was fortunate enough to discover this movie today and I immediately sat down and started watching it and I was freaking hooked, man. The characters are lovable. The story was great. It's about a father and a daughter who are trying to make their way to Busan, obviously, on a train. It's not really that big deal, but there's a, a very exciting element added to this. Zombies. And it's really well done. It was really nice to find a father-daughter story that it did not find in Last of Us Part 2. So this was really great. It was a really great bounce back movie from that disappointing game. So the story follows about a father, an overworking father who works 24 seven all the time and who doesn't really have a close relationship with his daughter. And for her birthday, she wants to go see her mom and she doesn't want to be with him. She doesn't, um, she doesn't want to stay with him. So unfortunately, so, so she convinces him for her birthday to finally go to see her mother who lives in Busan. So they get on a train and then a lot of all a lot of crazy things happen on the way and of course zombies. Now now of course there's a cast of lovable characters. Instantly you see them and you go, Oh, I want them to survive. Um of course there's always that one antagonist that gets everybody killed. But but one of the things that I really enjoyed about this movie is the CGI. Now Modern day movies tend to overuse CGI. It's, uh, I think it's cheap and I think it's extremely lazy. And this movie really knows how to blend CGI and with real people. Now, a lot of times, like for example, World War Z, you could just see like, you see a legion, a crowd of uh, animated people running towards you and it really takes you out of it, you know? But in this movie, they use real people and they really do CGI well done in certain moments, but it doesn't take you out of it. Um, there was one moment in the train station where they're like banging on the grass, on the glass and of course it breaks and they kind of fall through through and you can see for a second that the, the cgi was there but then it then they just right right away they're back to human they're the real people and they're chasing after everybody and that's that is fantastic man that is fantastic i've seen a lot of suspense a lot of suspenseful horror movies that take all uh, i i see a lot of horror movies that use cgi and it takes all the suspense out of the way because you know it's fake you know back in the day 80s and 90s when they were using animatronics it was great but lately in the last 20 years or so they have been relying on computer generated effects and it really takes all the suspense out because you know in the back of your mind no matter how good the cgi is you know it's fake you know it's fake but when you see real people real zombies coming at you it you, it's like on the edge of your seat man like oh my god nail biting stuff man and i wish and i wish more american movies would do this but they tend they really really tend to uh to rely on cgi too much but in this movie they do it really well they don't overuse it um there was actually another moment where they're where they're actually using i don't i don't dude i don't want to give any away but there was a moment where i thought that this was, will be a moment in, in a in a hollywood movie where they would use cgi but that it was real people it was like i'm pretty 100 well all of them were real people and there was like a crowd of them and i was just like ah i don't i don't want to give it away i don't want to give like you just have to watch for the movie yourself but that was one of those things that i really appreciate about the movie is the fact that one is the computer generated effects to the used real people 98 percent of the time it was real people jumping out of the windows it was real people chasing after uh, our, ca our characters and it's just it was just such a fun ride it was really really a fun ride trade of a son and of course you have like the lovable characters there's uh people you root for a lot of plot twist you know you expect a lot of uh a lot of twists and turns on this train ride of Busan. it was it was a lot of fun, man. It was a lot of fun. It's on Netflix right now, and I would really highly encourage everybody to check this movie out because the sequel, Peninsula, Peninsula, is coming out next month. And uh, yeah, man, it's just it was just a fun ride. If me, my rating would be a five out of five. Go check it out. Um, 
highly recommended it was it was such a great I, it was the perfect zombie movie man it's been a long time i've seen one of those a long time a lot of times you just you put on a zombie movie and it's it's uh you just don't like the characters. You don't. You're not rooting for them or anything at all. But then this one, you root. You find all the, all the characters are very, very lovable, likable, and the most importantly, relatable. Um, they kind of stand out from the 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 crowd. You know, a lot of times you also watch a movie and you just they're just pretty basic. They have basic characters, basic personalities, and they kind of like blend in with the with the with the background characters for background characters and you're like why should i care about this character but this movie had a lot of fantastic cast fantastic characters and of course a lot of twists and turns and a lot of excitement and it was just it was just overall again a really great movie fun movie to watch and it's actually a perfect movie to watch during this pandemic uh, for the corona 19 bit of uh, corona 19 yeah corona 19 movie so go check that out man it's a five out of five for me it's been a long time it's been a long time since I've enjoyed a movie that well. And this is probably my, f so far, this is my favorite movie of 2020. Now I gotta watch more movies. Of course, to be fair, I haven't seen a lot of movies, but, and a lot of times I'm gonna watch Korean films. Um, when I, this is a Korean film. The last Korean film I saw was The Good, The Bad, and The Weird. And I remember I really enjoyed it, but you know, America, and I don't mean to sound ignorant here, but America, I could be extremely ignorant about this comment I'm about to say, but uh, American films te tend to be the leading standard. You know, they tend to have the highest budgets, the the, the best cameras, the best uh, people working behind the scenes to make these movies. So this is one of those movies where uh, I think I think Korean films are catching up because a lot of because most most of the time movies that are made outside of, of America, outside of Hollywood, tend to be low budget they're using cameras from like 20 years ago they're using technology from 10 years ago they're, they're, all, they're all they all seem well behind but this movie it, i think i think they're catching up man I, because this was a high but the set pieces were great uh they weren't cheesy they weren't corny it was well done i mean it's just overall man again i can't praise and ray immediately after the move the credit side of roll i had to had to jump on here i had to tell everybody everybody i know all to to all my 100 subscribers like this is a movie to watch especially for 2020 go check that out because the 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 trailer for peninsula is coming up so um yeah we're going to end this we're going to end this uh end this video with the trailer to train to basan and with that said Go check that out. Let me know what you think. If you've seen it, did you enjoy it? Do you have any other movies that you want to, you want me to check out? You think there's a better movie than this out right now? Let me know, man. Because I'm think I'm starting to branch out out of American films because I've been really, really disinterested when it comes to movies. And this is it's been a long time since I've been really hooked on a movie. So if you have any maybe Korean films, uh, Dutch films, I don't care. Let let me know. Show me a good movie, man. Because I I love movies. I love movies more than TV shows, and um, and a lot. It's been a while since I really enjoyed enjoyed this movie. So uh, enjoyed movies. So with that said, let's end it here. I'm Dak Guy Bride. This was a Dak Guy review. Five out of five stars. Highly recommended. And uh, yeah, till next time, everybody. Cheers.